my man is helping me take care of my business because you know i'm new in the music in this let me tell you something i'm new in the music industry right so i don't know how everything works i don't know how everything works luckily thank god i'm dating somebody that's in the music industry that's helping me realize opening my eyes helping me stay grounded helping me um get the right lawyers helping me get business management so shout out to my man for that and when i and when i get lazy he just always tells me to get up you know what i'm saying um and then on top of that i have been doing a whole lot of work that's been taking a lot of my time that is not really involved with music but it's gonna get me a check and i need a check and you know i have a personal life too i have a personal life i got a personal business you know a lot of people they're adults but they're adults with no responsibilities or a lot of people are very young they don't know responsibilities i have a lot of responsibilities you know i pay my bills and i pay a lot of people bills and i have a lot of people that work for me that i got to pay so i gotta constantly go get the bag go get the bag constantly make shows but i like i said working on this album and I just want to thank my fans. I just want to thank my fans for supporting me and understanding, you know, like understand, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I need this. I'm seeing that I have a lot of pressure that I didn't know, you know, around October when I just did Bored at Yellow, I didn't, I didn't even really was thinking about an album because I never really knew the importance of it. I always thought that it was like a mixtape, but Oh, supposedly it's not like a mixtape. It's like something that is a big deal. So it's like, it got to come up beautifully and perfect because I don't want to disappoint my fans. And I, there's so many people that's anticipating to hear it just to hate on it. So it got to be really dope. But I'm just really thankful. And um, I've just been praying a lot. You know, I have to, I had to eliminate a lot of people in my life. You know, one thing about fame and one thing about when you have money. You don't really know people have evil, evil, evil intentions around you, like evil intentions. That's why I just been just dealing with things, but it's just like things are getting better. And I'm just glad that I'm eliminating them from my life now and I'm getting my business and my work together. Like I said, like. Like, the music industry is more snakier and more fucked up than the streets. Like, the streets, to me, I used to think the streets is grimy. The streets are easier. The streets are way easier. The strip club, bitches used to cut throats in the strip club. It's music industry. You just got to watch out. You got to get lawyer up. You got to get business managers up. You got to... You got to mingle with the right people. And, you know, I don't I don't really know celebrities like that. I don't really talk to celebrities like that. And sometimes I don't really like to listen to my man because he just swears he knows everything. But I had to sit down. I had to listen. And little by little, I'm getting my things, things together. 